Hello and welcome to React Studio list and grid tutorial. First, you need to create a new project. Let's create a new project here. List grid. Like that. And then give this project some kind of name. List demo. And we're not going to go into changing the styles and colors of the app, but you can do some stuff from here. So here's the first screen, which is a blank screen. And what we need for a list, if I track a list element here, you can see that list element has some settings here. Basically, list element needs data source, which is the rows for, for the which are going to be shown in the list or grid. And then we need a component for a, comp a list item component, which is like a, like a, which, which represents the one row in the data source. And, and you can add head block, which will be the, like on top of the list and tail block, this component will be the bottom of the list every time. And then we have this number of columns, which is, uh, by default, it's it's two, so you can set so that in narrow phone size we're going to show one column, and in wide phone we're going to show two columns in tablet, maybe three columns in white tablet, maybe four columns. So the list uh, changes itself to grid when it's when when needed. So let's start. So we have a list here, but first we need to create a data source for the list. So I'm going to go to data, click add sheet. Let's call this sheet list data. And then we need to add some columns. Let's call this name, another column, email. And maybe third one, this will be image column. I'll just call it image. And then add some, some mockup data. Okay, so now I've added some, some mock-up data. This is a data sheet uh, basically containing just list of list of uh, team members. It's, uh, it has columns, name, email and image. So let's head back to the project map and start. And then you see the list. We can set the take items from, from data sheet, just set it to list data. But we're not going to see anything because we're still missing the Missing the list list item component. So let's head back to the project map. Drag empty component from here. I will call this team member. And double click it. Add a background, yes. And let's make it a little bit wider. And drag a image here and make this image full width and so that it will maintain the aspect ratio. And then we need two text fields for, or text elements for, for showing the name and the email. So drag first one from here, let's drag next, second one. And this will be name, this will be email. and then make let's make some adjustments for the for this uh, name uh, I will apply style headline so it will be a little bit bigger I could add custom font and make it custom size but I will stick with the style headline style here and then make it make it full width from left to right zero points and then center it like this and basically do the same thing for the email center it like this and that's about ready and last we need to create to add the uh, data bindings or link the properties for the for the elements that we just created so just select the image go to data 
link image column to this element and name column from datasheet to this element and email column to this and now when we go to the main screen that we have the list let me just go here list item component and select the team member I will get the list I will put this list full screen so it will be zero points from left and zero from right and now it should work on every every screen size uh, I think we could add a tail and head block to this list so we so we go through all the settings for the list so I will just add an empty component this will be head called head block this could just be like a just just uh, some kind of a component with with maybe maybe one text text element like a header team and again zero from left and right and that then select a custom font make this a bit bigger change the uh, the color we'll use white bold like this maybe change change even the font like this and create another one for the tail block This could be just a tail block showing the. I will add this to foreground group. And this could be just for 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 copyright or maybe maybe just an address for the company. This. Okay, so now we have the head block and tail block. We just need to go to list element and select the head block and tail block like this. And here's our list. Next, I can just run it in browser and it should be so that in, in mobile size it will show me a list with one row and then when I when I make the browser so browser wider it should show me grid. Okay, so here I have the larger size and when I go to smaller I will have a list again larger it shows me the grid and narrower it is a list in this case because the each image has a different size and we are ac actually uh, using the aspect ratio so that so that image never changes the, uh, it maintains the aspect ratio. But if I uncheck this and make it so that we're not cropping, uh, we could crop the image like this, then we should see grid without like, uh, each, each cell in the grid will be same size, same height, like this. And if I go to mobile size, it's same. Okay, thank you. And uh, hope this helps to get you started with lists and grid in React Studio.
and have a great day.